Hi, my name is Ann Wiley. I'm an assistant professor here at the University of Akron, and right now we're standing in my lab. I call it a stable isotope ecology lab. Um, this is where I use the chemistry of animal tissues to learn about their foraging habits. And so next week I'm going to be giving a talk at the Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society, and I'm going to be talking specifically about seabirds and the lives they live when they're far away from their breeding colonies when they're foraging over the oceans. So I'll talk about how I use the ratio of stable isotopes and seabird tissues to figure out what seabirds are eating, where they're going, and then I'll talk also about how, in some cases anyway, seabird foraging habits are very much intimately tied to how seabirds advertise themselves to each other, to potential mates and also how seabird foraging habits have been changing, not just over the last few years, but really over the past centuries, and what that means about how humans are altering the oceans for seabirds and how humans are altering ocean food webs more generally.